Hi everyone, it's Peggy Merwin with Stamp with Peggy. Today is Monday, April 15th. It's tax day. Hopefully everybody got their taxes done. Um, I ran, my accountant was able to do an extension. So I ran, picked that all up today and dealt with that at the end of the day today and got it all off in the mail or electronically filed. So at least I have a little buffer time for her to finish the rest of that. Um, weather was beautiful here in central Illinois or northern Illinois, I should say, today. We had about 75 degrees, maybe a little warmer than that. We had blue skies and not a lot of wind. It was absolutely gorgeous. Um, weekend was wonderful. I hope everybody had a good weekend. I had a fabulous weekend. I got to spend Friday night with my husband doing a little pre-Mexico shopping. Um, and then we grabbed a quick bite out. And then Saturday, I met my daughter and Katie and got to spend Saturday and Sunday with her. We stayed fairly local, um, about 45 minutes from me. And then we got a hotel for Saturday night. And we went to a, we started out with coffee Saturday morning, and then we went to a glass studio in Elkhorn and did some fused glass. So picked out projects we wanted to do or a project each. And now we don't get it back for about two weeks until the lady is able to get them all fired and everything. So we're anxious to see how they turned out, but we had such a good time doing it. And just spending the time together, we went to a winery and sat and had a glass of wine and chatted for a long time. And then we went for dinner and did some more fun talking. And Sunday we had coffee again. And then we did some more talking and some more shopping. And so it was a wonderful weekend. Um, very relaxing. Now it's a little catch up this week for both of us, but that's okay. Okay, I am going to try to get myself up here on my computer so I can kind of follow along. Okay, looks like we have some of you on and I forgot to change glasses tonight so I'm looking underneath here. Okay, let's scoop this around so I can see. <clears throat> okay, so Easter's over, we're moved into spring, we're still in the annual catalog, not quite into the new catalog. Um, the spring mini catalog is disappearing at the end of this month. New, uh, the 22, 24 in colors are disappearing. So lots and lots of changes about to happen over the next couple of weeks. So I decided it's time to kind of get ourselves again into spring and start preparing for Mother's Day. Um, again, and some people don't like to deal with Mother's Day. Whether you have a mother with you yet or not, you have lots of friends, um, you have daughters, you have granddaughters, um, co-workers who are mothers, mothers-to-be. So there's lots of people that you can share Mother's Day with um, and bring a little joy to everyone's life and hopefully a little bit of joy to your life while you make these fun little things. So... I was at the store and I found these adorable little Debbie Mother's Day lemon cakes. They're just so cute. They are an, about an inch and a quarter square around and then it's about four and a half inches long. So of course, what do we need? We need a box for it to make it into a pretty small little gift. <coughs> Excuse me. I am working my way through this thing. I have new meds and things. and Okay, so we're, I'm going to take you down so that we can go ahead and get started. Okay, there we go. Flip it down so you're not looking up my nose. Hi, Roz. Thank you so much for joining. Okay, who else do we have? Jeanne, Linda. Look at that. Linda made five. Where did it go? Linda made five Mother's Day cards already. That is wonderful because you know I love card sharing. Okay. Oops, looks like I'm bringing you too far forward. Let's get my screen down here again so that I can see where we're at. Okay, there's the current host code. Okay, um, those of you who ordered and participated in last week's stamp anniversary sale, I am working on those kits so that I can get those out in the mail to you. Um, again, having spent the weekend with my daughter, which was wonderful, um, I didn't get those out in the mail yet, but they'll go out in the next day or two. Okay, so again, we have this fun lemon cake. Okay, so we're actually going to bring the score, uh, sim not simply scored, trimmer in. 
Um, again, if I were making a bunch of them, I would bring in my Simply Scored, but this works very, very well. The fun thing is we are going to use one sheet of crushed curry cardstock. We're going to make a little box for this, and we're going to make a coordinating card. So how fun is that? Okay, so I'm starting with a piece that's five and a half inches by seven and a quarter inches. Okay, I am off a little bit here tonight. Give me a second, because it's like, okay, I keep going off the screen. I gotta figure out which direction I need to go here. Okay, so five and a half by seven and a quarter. The seven and a quarter inch edge is at the top of our trimmer. Get the blade out of the way. We want the gray blade or scoring blade. Okay, we're lining it up at one and a quarter inches and we're going to score it. And then we're sliding it over to six inches, which should give us one and a quarter on the opposite side and we're scoring, okay? Then we're gonna turn it so that our five and a half inch edge is at the top. And then we're gonna line it up at one and a quarter inches and we're gonna score it. And we're gonna slide it over to two and a half and score it. Three and three quarters and score it. And then five inches is our last one, okay? So that gives us a half inch edge for our box. Okay, let me set that out of the way. Okay, then we're bringing in our scissors, our snips. Okay, and we're gonna start, we're gonna go down on this first score line. We're gonna go down first to the second one. And we're gonna cut the first one off. And then we're gonna do our little notches. Again, this just takes some of the bulk out so that when you fold those edges in, um, it's nice and clean. And we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. So we're cutting on that score line and then we're cutting that half inch flap off and then we're notching the corners of that one, okay? All right, now we're gonna turn it so that we have the short side towards us. And we have a total of three score lines. We're gonna cut on these two. Obviously this one we just dealt with up here. So right now we're dealing with the middle ones. We're gonna cut right on the score line up to the next score line. And then we're gonna notch out this center one. Okay, then we're gonna turn it around and we're gonna do the same thing on this opposite side. We're gonna cut straight on the score lines and then we're just gonna notch in that center one. Take out a little V. <clears throat> okay, let's get rid of those crumbles. <coughs> okay, then we're going to pull in our bone folder and we're going to fold it on all the score lines. Nice and crisp. Oops, and I forgot here. This half inch flap, we're going to trim those corners too so that when we tuck it in to close our box, it tucks in nice and easy. Okay, then we're gonna come over on the side and we're gonna fold those in and burnish those really well. And I forgot to do these little ones here. Okay, now let's create a box. Okay, so we're gonna deal with these little middle flaps here and we're gonna put glue and I'm just gonna use the liquid glue. Okay, and then we are going to pull the top part up and create our box. And we've done enough boxes. We should all know how to do those by now, right? Okay, and we're attaching it there. You just wanna hold it for a second. The liquid glue gives you the opportunity to move it a little bit if it doesn't quite line up. And then we're gonna put liquid glue on these other flaps and seal our box up or form our box okay so then we're just folding it up and folding the flap over and then we're going to do the same thing over here on this side hold it for a second so that it holds shut our little cake goes right inside the flaps fold in 
and then it closes down. There, that's how quick the box is, okay? But that's kind of boring, right? So now, what we're going to do, I'm using a stamp set that is retiring. Actually, I'm using two of them that are retiring. I'm using the Petal Park, which is in the current annual catalog. Um, and we're gonna use these flowers and these little flowers down here and this and this little speckle. <coughs> and then, and we'll get to that part, I guess, later. How about that? I'm also, yep, all right. So I'm starting with a half sheet of basic white cardstock, five and a half by eight and a half. And we are just going to stamp all over this piece. I'm starting with Daffodil Delight ink. Okay, trying to make sure it's all in the screen okay for you. <clears throat> and checking my mouse over here. Give me a second. Okay, all right. So I'm starting with the larger three flowered. And I'm just inking it up with um, Daffodil Delight. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna stamp it all over this piece of basic white. <coughs> Excuse me. Doesn't matter how close, it's just randomly stamped. We're gonna fill in areas. Oops, I don't want those side by side. Turn your stamp around. Looks like I got something on my stamp. Okay, then let's put another one in there. Okay, so there we have yellow flowers, Daffodil Delight flowers all over our piece. Then we are pulling in Lemon Lolly and we are going to use the three smaller flowers, okay? With Lemon Lolly and then we're just gonna go back in and we're going to fill in areas with lots of light little flowers, okay? And it's okay if they overlap, that doesn't matter. <coughs> oh, and I just realized I forgot to do a drawing for last week's comments. I was just going to say, don't forget to comment and let me know how you like what we're doing. Do you have the Petal Park um, stamp set? Okay, then we're going to use Granny Apple Green. And I'm using just this little greenery piece, okay? Don't let me forget at the end, before I close out, that we need to do the um, prize award from last week's comments, likes, and shares. Okay, and we're just going in and filling in white spaces. <clears throat> Twisting your stamp around, twist your paper around, just enough to be able to get it into all the different areas. can be floating, can come out the edge of a flower, doesn't matter, it's all good. Right, okay. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, then I still had a little more white space than what I wanted. And so, and I thought I just saw, oh, I need to. <coughs> okay, then I'm using Mossy Meadow. And in this stamp set, there's a tiny little dots. There's five little dots on here, okay? Very gently, tapping and picking up ink, we're just gonna fill in with Mossy Meadow a few of those white spaces, okay? Look at how different the paper starts looking 
even just with the dots. I mean, each time it looks a little bit different. Yeah, let's get in here. And this one gets goobered up. This, um, my mossy metal pad is felt pad or foam pad is a little bit mushy. Don't worry about that. We can probably work right around that. <clears throat> As you know, some areas get covered anyways. And that's only because I'm hurrying too much that it's doing that. Because I'm not taking enough time just to gently stamp it. Okay. And we always have the opportunity to go back in and add a few more if we need to. And if I'm missing comments, don't worry, I'll go back in and look at them later. You know that. Okay. Almost there. Let's fill in there. How about there? We got a couple of empty spots here. I got a hair on it. Okay, looks pretty good. Like I said, we can always go back in and we can add some more as we're working with this piece. Okay. <coughs> so now for my box, my edges again are one and a quarter inches and it's by four and three quarters. So I took three strips of Daffodil Delight and I cut them four and five eighths by one and an eighth. And one's gonna go on each side of there. I'm not going to put it on the bottom, and I'm not going to put it on these ends over here. I could, but I don't feel like I need to, okay? But before I do that, I'm going to take my piece that we just stamped and my paper trimmer, okay? And I'm trying to see if I can get up in there enough. Whoops, I'm ripping my sign all up. Okay, so I am going to cut one and an eighth inch. No, I'm not. I'm going to cut one inch strips. I'm going to cut three of them, okay? Okay. One, two, and three. I'm gonna save this piece for my card. And then we are gonna cut these at four and a half inches. Remember, I had my Daffodil Delight and I cut that at four and five eighths. So now I'm gonna cut this one at four and a half, whoops, so that I have a small little border <clears throat> okay, get the paper trimmer out of the way. Now I'm going to take my three strips. I'm going to take my three strips of daffodil. And we're going to adhere these together. And I should have brought some baby wipes or paper towel over because I have yellow ink all over my glass mat. Okay, there's one. <clears throat> And there's one. Oops, I just lost that screen. There we go. And there's one. Let me grab some stuff to wipe that up so I don't smear it on my card. <coughs> okay. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and put these onto our box. So I can just go ahead and put my adhesive right on there. You can use, again, you can use seal. You can use the liquid glue. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna bring our box back in here and we're gonna put one on the front, one on the top, and one on the back. Isn't that adorable? Okay, now we're gonna pull in the ribbon. <clears throat> and this is a two pack. There's a petal pink stripe and then this kind of granny apple or parakeet green. That's also on the retired list. And I'm just gonna wrap it around here and I'm gonna tie it into a bow. Okay, but before I do that, let's cut a little extra chunk there. I forgot. I need to find 
Okay. I used the TaylorMade Tags dies, which I am really disappointed to see these leaving. Um, these are on the retiring list, and if you don't have them yet, I highly recommend these. They are awesome to make adorable little tags, okay? So I've already die cut it from basic white, and I pulled, okay, what did I do with those words right here? For you, this is from the Blueberry Bunches stamp set that is in the holiday, or the spring mini catalog, okay? And I'm using Mossy Meadow. But before I do that, I'm going to use Daffodil Delight. <laughs> and I'm going to use the big stamp. But I'm, I want to focus on this one right here, the, the medium-sized one. Okay? And so right on the end, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp that. And I think I stamped it off on my original sample, but that's going to work. I'm going to use the Mossy Meadow with the For You. Now again, this is where make sure you're watching and you're not getting a bunch of extra ink, okay? If you do, take a paper towel, a Kleenex, a baby wipe and clear that off before you stamp. I'm gonna stamp For You, overlapping my flower. And this is why I was going to, oh, that works good. Okay, then I am going to bring back in the Granny Apple Green and the little fern. And we're gonna just stamp just a little bit around that to add some of that on there. Isn't that cute? Just so basic and so simple. Okay, then we're gonna pull this back in here. Okay, we're gonna slide this on to our box. And we're gonna pull this snug to hold our little box closed. And then we're just gonna tie a small little bow. If I can get my fingers to work, I probably should have cut a little bit bigger piece of ribbon. But I think, yeah, we're gonna be fine. Okay, look at how cute that is. Just very sweet and simple. Be fun to go around and just drop these off on everybody's desk. Okay, but how about a card to go with it? Okay, so we're gonna start again with a base of crushed curry, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So we're just gonna fold it and then we're gonna, okay. And then I have a piece of Daffodil Delight that is four inches by five and a quarter to go on to the front, okay? Now I have my stamped piece again. So we're gonna cut this down to three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. Okay, three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. <clears throat> oh, and I just cut it too small. Oh, Peggy. Okay, well, we're gonna change this card a little bit then. All right, we're gonna get this other piece. I can't believe I just did that. Okay, we're gonna make this one five and an eighth. It should have been three and seven eighths, not two and seven eighths. I can't read a ruler tonight, apparently. Okay, so we're gonna do this. And our ribbon can go right over there. Or, better yet, let's completely because that's not making me happy <laughs> I'm sorry about that okay so we're gonna just start with our cut piece here three and seven eighths by five and an eighth this wasn't the way it was supposed to go it was supposed to be a time saver okay now we're gonna switch it again and we're gonna pull our inks back in see it's Peggy going on the fly again So we're just gonna quickly refill our piece and pretend that it was the piece that I had already done. Okay, let's go in there. Okay, then let's get our lemon lolly and our small little flowers. And let's fill in. 
See, it happens to everybody. You guys think every time I stamp, it just everything goes right. Mm -mm, nope, not at all. Okay, and then we're gonna get our little green in. And we're gonna stamp those little things around. Tony got our tile all in in the kitchen. He's putting the final coat of, I don't know what it is, silicone sealer or something on it right now. And then I get to finally have my kitchen back. I got ham out to heat up for dinner tonight, and I'm not sure how I'm going to do it or how I'm going to have anything to go along with it, but we'll make it work. Okay, one last. We got to add the dots back in on this one. Okay. And I'm sure you're getting my arm all over in the place. Okay, let's add a couple of small ones there. <coughs> I had used, I kind of forgot about this um, Petal Park stamp set. I had used it so much last spring that it just kind of sat on the shelf now. So it was fun to bring this one back out and give it some ink again before I get rid of it. Okay, now let's get this paper towel back in here. And I know I should have a baby wipe, Linda. Okay, so then this goes on here. Okay, that's much better. All right, then let's see where did, here's my ribbon. And then we're gonna pull in the bow maker okay. and we're gonna make a ribbon that's shorter on one end and a little longer on the other so that we can put our bow off to the side. And I guess I should show you again. If you guys haven't seen the bone folder or if you need a reminder of it, okay, these pegs move so that you can make bigger sizes or smaller sizes. And then you take the ribbon I do, again, I'm left-handed, so this could be why. I take the loose end on my left, I wrap it from the back, cross it over in the front, and then tuck the loose end underneath everything, pull it over to the top, and then just tie it into a knot. You can slide it before you pull it really tight, and then it just slips right off from those pegs. It's awesome, okay? So now let's adhere this to the yellow, the daffodil. Okay, and then we're gonna cut this. And again, when I'm doing it myself, I just do it right on the spool, then I'm not wasting a bunch of extra. Okay, we're gonna take this bow clear over to the left side. So we're gonna go ahead and put our adhesive on the back. <laughs> about in the middle and then we're just going to tack the ends to the back of the card and then we're going to go ahead and add that onto the front of our card base okay then I have I um, use a two and three eighths inch circle punch for a piece of mossy meadow and we're going to adhere that down we're going to tuck it underneath the ribbon we're gonna take it over here on the right side so it's about centered underneath the ribbon. And then I used my Stylish Shapes dies, you know I love these, with basic white. And I punched one, or I cut one that's about two and an eighth inch, okay? And we are going to use Mossy Meadow. And I am using Happy Mother's Day from Perennial Postage. This one's leaving us also. The Perennials, uh, what are they, Postage Squares, that set or the die set is staying, but the stamp set that coordinates is leaving. Okay, so I just stamped Happy Mother's Day. Then I'm going to pull in my daffodil again, and I am going to, again, deal with this medium-sized flower. We're going to stamp one down here, 
and one up here, and one over here. Just kind of partials. And then, close that ink up. I'm done with this ink. Okay, we're gonna pull in the granny apple and our little fern leaf. And we're gonna add a couple of those around. And then we're gonna pull in our mossy meadow and some more dots, because it just brings it all together. Don't you think so? Okay, I want the bigger dots there, whoops. Again, a lighter touch is always better. And let's go in there. And then we'll pop one up in there. <clears throat> See, on this one, I didn't even use any other embellishments. Those dots were kind of my embellishments this time. Okay, let's get this as cleaned as I can. All right, and then we're going to use dimensionals to attach my circle that coordinates my card and my box. And put that right over the top of the ribbon. So I've got ribbon feeding out of both sides. I've got my little bow there. Okay, now we've got our inside. So we need to put a greeting. And on this, I thought, Happy Mother's Day. You are loved beyond measure. And I'm going to use the Mossy Meadow. <coughs> you bet, Cheryl. Got to have those dimensionals in there. Okay. And I'm going to put that oh, about a third, a little over a third down. Okay. But, of course, we can't just leave it like that, right? We need to get some flowers in here, too. Okay. And I'm going to focus on the two bigger ones. And we're kind of just going to go like that. And then maybe like that. And how about a little bit? You no, know, maybe I don't want the fern stems. Maybe on this, on the inside, I just want some little green dots coming around. What do you think? I want this one to come up around that way. And then maybe one more there. Okay. Very sweet. Okay, let's close these all up so that we can finish assembling. And I don't have ink everywhere because tonight I feel like I do. Okay, so we're going to take this one. We're going to adhere it to another piece of daffodil. So the white one is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. We're going on a four by five and a quarter daffodil. And then we're going to go ahead and put that on the inside of our card. I didn't grab an envelope tonight, but you could add the flowers to the envelope flap. I just read something recently that the post office says don't put it on the front like we usually do. It interferes with the barcodes that they put on but we can definitely decorate the flap, right? Okay, I'm gonna get those stamps out of the way. So there is our beautiful little lemon cake box with a pretty little Happy Mother's Day card. Perfect to be able to share with anybody that you want. So again, if you have not gotten yet the tailor-made tags, dies, this is a must have. The perennial postage stamp has some great, that's where the your loved beyond measure comes from also. You mean the world to me I could have put, sending love and best wishes. I mean, there's so many that are perfect that could go inside this card. Um, somebody who's struggling on Mother's Day, um, here for you always would be wonderful. Okay, I can't thank you enough, mom, for everything you've done for me. It's fabulous. And then the Petal Park with all of the beautiful flowers. Um, the flowers that I used, I used the filled in part, but then there's outlines so you could stamp them inside each other. You can color it with your markers. It's got this gorgeous greenery around it. For the outlines, this is the insides. So it's, it's just a 
fabulous, fabulous stamp set. And I used it a ton last year when we had it. Okay, so I'm just kind of sneak peeking here. Um, oh, thank you, Annie, for the reminder. Now I got to find where I put them. Okay, so again, you get points for um, liking, commenting, sharing, tagging. Um, my following has gone up to 401. Um, I am so excited. We went over the 400 mark. So now let's shoot towards the, let's go towards 425 and see if we can't hit. Maybe I'll find a really cool prize when we hit that and do a little giveaway or something. Okay. So you guys, you ready? Okay. So the first lucky winner is getting the festive pearls. Um, you know how much I love those. There's red ones up here, the blue, the silver, the gold. They are just so versatile. You, some of the gold ones could be really pretty on here, too, in the center of the flowers and things. Okay? So the first lucky winner is Deb Kaiser. So, Deb, I will be getting those to you with your package. And then another package of them. Apparently, I had a couple of them. And I just grabbed some stuff out of the bin. The second lucky winner is Connie Ward. So, Thank you both so much for following and commenting and liking and thank everybody else so much for following, sharing, joining, participating. I love seeing you making projects of some of the things that I'm doing, some of the things you're coming up with on your own. Um, Annie, who watches every week, is doing a class in a senior living center. Um, so she shares what we love to do with the ladies in this facility or people in this facility. It could be gentlemen also. Um, so these are just fun projects that you could do with others. You don't have to be a demonstrator to do this. You just have to love stamping and want to be with other people. Okay, so you guys have a fabulous week. I will see you next Monday on April 22nd. Everybody have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.